931 of the Big 550 KTRS. I am Paul Harris. That music means we span the globe. For stories wacky enough to qualify as knuckleheads in the news, we begin in St. Gervais, France, where police found a 12-year-old boy hiding and questioned him about what he was doing. He told police that a muscular, five-and-a-half-foot-tall, European-looking man in his 30s with a vertical scar on his right cheek had abducted the boy from the neighboring town of Bagnoles. The boy also described the car and the clothing his captor was wearing. He said he managed to escape the car in St. Gervais before police found him. But after the cops went through video from every surveillance camera in the town of Bagnoles and didn't see anyone who met the abductor's description, they got suspicious. So they questioned the boy some more until he finally admitted he had faked his own kidnapping and made up the story so he wouldn't have to go to the dentist. Story number two from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Michael Donahue really wanted a snow cone. So he tried to break into the snow cone shack at 1 o'clock one day. Not 1 o'clock in the morning. 1 o'clock in the afternoon when the snow cone shack was open for business. According to a woman who was working at the shack, the suspect first attempted to break a doorknob at the stand and then began trying to beat and push on the door. When she called the cops, they showed him up. They showed up to find him trying to work another door on the other side of the stand. But the guy must have been liquored up because he was having trouble operating a doorknob. Donahue spoke to police when they got there, and his speech was slurred and difficult to understand. They took him away on burglary, trespassing, and public drunkenness charges, and he never did get a snow cone. In Suffern, New York, Juan Sever drove past several police cars and into the rear parking lot of the Suffern Police Department. A dispatcher watched the incident on the department's security cameras and sent an officer to respond. And the officer found Sever trying to turn his car around in the lot. He stopped him, realized he was drunk. Not the first time that Sever has been stopped for DWI. He's already been charged twice this year with all sorts of alcohol-related driving offenses, but this time the trip to jail didn't take all that long. From car to the jail building, eight feet. By the way, Severa is also in the U.S. illegally, so he's on an immigration detainer, too. And we'll finish in Calhoun, Georgia, where a woman called police to report that she'd gotten home to find it vandalized, and a naked woman was inside the house. A woman she didn't know. Deputies got there. They found the suspect, Suzanne Hussein, hiding in a closet. Suzanne actually lives about seven miles away. Said she didn't know the homeowner either. Sheriff Mitch Ralston told a local newspaper, quote, she was in fact nude and was acting abnormally, but was taken into custody without further incident. However, the house was extensively damaged, including having been flooded because Suzanne had turned on every faucet in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bathtub, and everything had overflowed and there was water damage everywhere. Suzanne busted for burglary and criminal damage to property. Oh, and by the way, she was on probation for a prior charge of possession of methamphetamine, so she was busted for that as well. The only good news for Suzanne? She qualified today as one of our knuckleheads in the news here on the Big 550 